The process of making the album was in itself a, a healing experience, a continuation of it. I was processing a lot of like what it meant to live in this like big, loud, beautiful, wild city, and and all the the pain, like the extreme up and downs of living in a city. Music was a place to sink into and create worlds in. As really, it really felt that way, like a, a safety, a place of safety, like a womb-like <laughs> safe place. <laughs> Have these long trance-like episodes, just recording, and yeah, I think that in itself is very healing. To focus, just to yeah, just to sit and focus and sit with your your breathing. Also, I think I was noticing the breath came into it very often in my practice of um, music making. That was something I would continue to focus on was breathing up and down my spine, and the energy I was getting from doing that practice was like very incredible. And <laughs> I was like. Also, it just felt fluid to move from walking down the street into my bedroom and then continuing that breathing with singing and with um, every, every aspect of it to just keep breathing deeply and up and down my spine. And so it became one long healing experience, I would say, totally. <laughs> I'm still just amazed that the album just sounds like so unprofessional in so many ways that I was like, can people even like cap like hear the essence coming through <laughs> with like the lack of like quality? But it's just also it does have an earthy quality for sure. A lot of I think inspiration from the jungle and living in Hawaii and having a lot of jungle in Hawaii to experience I think came through a lot on this record. So that, like, just fertile, moist ground and bird chirpings, and that was definitely a big part of what was coming through. And that was always a kind of accidental thing that I didn't consciously think about. It actually, <laughs> a lot of the tracks that have that kind of jungly, atmospheric vibe were started off as being... Um, kind of like audio accidents and I think I was getting like some feedback or something and I was using a phone to like use there's like an effect thing going on with a, a an app I had on my phone and it started making what sounded to me like bird noises and then I just kind of went off on that it was like already stuck in the loop so I just added more with my mouth using making bird noises and got a friend also to add some and <laughs> so that is definitely um i think earth the earthy vibe that comes through is ca capturing just in the moment as they happen and being able to flow with imperfections and embracing imperfections being more concerned about how i feel in the moment and being able to just allow it fully out than having a preconceived idea of what I want to happen and I think that's very childlike is to be very honest and fully expressive of these of your emotions and um, impulses and to follow them with um, and I guess the difference between actually being a full-grown adult is knowing is coming around and remembering there's a wisdom in those those choices and those impulses that the adult brain can't really understand fully and that you have to let just those ride out on their own sometimes and that's just what I did. Work, work from a place of a lot of play and capturing in the moment and that's what I did. I just started doing that every every day for a while and eventually had uh, I'd say about 30, 40 songs just
created and by the by the near end of it I was realizing I could probably put something out and I chose the few songs that I liked the best and and then that's how it happened.